Grill Sergeant here, what's going on Grill Billies? Today, I'm actually excited about this video. I get to combine my love for barbecue and woodworking. So let's whip out the power tools and let's start the show. Today's video is actually a collab I'm doing with Johnny from View to a Grill. This is another barbecue slash woodworking expert. And if you haven't checked out his channel right now, I will leave a link to his channel and it will also be in the description. But today's collab is kind of fun. So he's basically making a table from his Smokey Joe and I'm basically making a table from this Smokey Joe. No idea what he's doing and he doesn't know what I'm doing. So we're gonna post this video on the same day and once his becomes available in mine, I'll basically, we'll make sure to drop links. So here we have a 1950s workbench. My idea and goal for this table is to take these top boards, run them through a planer, stain them. What I wanna do is cut a 14 inch diameter opening here and that this kettle top would actually sit flush. And so the idea with Korean barbecue is you're all sitting around, as you're talking and enjoying company, you can take thin marinated cuts of meat and basically just put them on the grill and then they're pretty much ready to eat. So you kind of eat as you go and grill as you go. All the times I've done Korean barbecue, I had an awesome experience. Now, before I run these tops through the planer, um, I do see some you know, nails sticking out. I do see some staples in here. Um, so I'm get, basically gonna try to get all that up because you wanna run your wood through a planer and you don't want pretty much any metal running in there. That would basically just wreck your planer blades. So let's get to work, let's get the tools out. Now this table sure is beat to crap, but I have a feeling we can turn this into something pretty cool. Last nail. All right, so basically to get these out, we have to unscrew them from down here. And then the only issue is now we have this rod Looks like it's a support stabilizer uh, rod for the table. So we basically got to get this bad boy out first. All right, now that that's done, these boards can come off. Uh, as far as this bottom table thing, um, I think I am going to take that out because if this is meant for someone to basically sit and eat, that's basically gonna hit the shin. So I'll probably take this bottom piece out. So now's where the fun begins. This tool next to me is a planer. What a planer is, is basically it's two blades that spin around really fast. And when you take a piece of wood in, it will basically take a really thin layer off the top, like maybe 16th of an inch. I'm gonna crank this bad boy on and we're gonna get this wood nice and smooth. So let's get going. Woo. All right, so we got the boards planed down and now I basically have a belt sander and we're gonna start with a coarse grit. So let's get ready. All right, we have our bowl and obviously we're going to make our circle. The bowl is going to, I want the bowl to sit flush on this table. And so right now we're going to kind of get some measurements here. So from bolt to bolt, it's looking 
like it's 34 inches. So I'm gonna make some 17 inch marks here. And this is basically to find the center, roughly. Pretty much good enough for government work right here. You push it this way. So we're looking at six and three fourths, six and three fourths. Beautiful. Beautiful, all right. Now we're gonna hold the bowl down. We're gonna make our mark. All right. Okay. So this should just pop out. So here, oh, look at that. Butter, ladies and gentlemen, absolutely butter. All right, so I got my support beam. So we're going to basically take these underneath and then we are going to mount these. And so now it's, a, it's going to provide support all the way around. And then we're gonna do the same to the other side. All right, so we have our support brackets in now. Beautiful. Let's do one last fitment check. So that goes in perfect. And we still have a uh, clearance for where those, uh, the support brackets aren't blocking the holes so the charcoal can stay lit. All right, for the stain, I'm gonna be using this carbon gray. These are really, really cool finish. So what we're gonna do is basically just start smearing this stuff all over. It's been about 24 hours since I put it on, so it is dry to the touch right now. And I am loving the dark gray and then just the brown wood combo. I think it looks beautiful. So now what we're gonna do is basically bolt this thing back down, put in all the support brackets. So let's get her done. For the kettle, I'm basically going to be using uh, heat tape. Okay, so I did wrap this up in two layers of that heat tape. Now let's see how she fits. Should be snug, like a bug in a rug. Awesome. Beautiful our charcoal grate now we're going to lay the top grate well we finally finished a table and here she is in all her glory this workbench korean barbecue table was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie i love when i get to mix barbecue and woodworking and to me there's just something just awesome about it uh, i really like the finish how it turns out it has almost like this distressed look to it i love it i cannot wait to basically have the family out here and to crack this open so we'll save that for another episode i rate this a success and yeah definitely uh this was a fun collaboration uh, thanks to Johnny from View to a Grill for reaching out. This was so much fun. Do click the hashtag in the title and that is going to link our videos out so you can basically see what Johnny did. That was awesome. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like Korean barbecue? Uh, have you ever tried it? It's pretty fun. Pretty, pretty fun. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, Grill Sergeant out. Peace. Oh, you're probably wondering what's up with the what's up with the fire going on. Well, we're gonna be getting out some hot dogs, and uh, yeah, we're basically gonna round up the family and roast some hot dogs over an open fire. So, yeah, it's gonna be kind of fun. Yep. Yeah, but until next time, I will catch you guys on the next one. All right, Grill Sergeant out.